<laughs> we got this. Who put spring traps on the outside? <laughs> Hey everybody, what is up? It is Klaus and thank you for tuning in for today's Boston Tea Party War Recap. So I'm going in, I'm going to check out this war. Looks like we've got a, uh, a lead on this clan, 46 to 40. And um, I think what we're going to do is show a few attack fails first and foremost. So let's get in here and pick on the leader of the clan, Boston Beer Party. He's going in on their number one Town Hall 9 base, actually. Um, Alan, with some... You know, cute little colorful symbols there. Anyway, he's coming in <laughs> with a go Ho strategy. And uh, let's just say this isn't going to go too well. As I already said, we're going to show some fails. And um, the truth is, guys, this base has given my clan problems. And really, if you look at the base, it shouldn't. So uh, something magical about this base, guys. Uh, I'm not recommending copying it because I'm going to show you all... Uh, Hopefully, how to beat it because I'm 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 completely confident that my guys can come in here and wreck the base. But um, there were a few fails, and we're gonna watch those right now. So anyway, Boston's coming in. He has uh, come in all the way, beaten the enemy queen, and um, and now we have a problem. The golems are going off to the right side. We haven't killed all the lava pups. There is a skeleton trap. There is a dying king, and uh, still some lava pups. And lava pups, guys. Lava pups. They they kill people and things. Anyway, our hogs have been released up there, on the uh, down there on the left side. Our queen is still alive on the right, but the last golemite has died. So that means the enemy queen or our queen uses her special ability, and she's gonna die within just a few seconds, I believe. So anyway, our hogs are going in on the right side. Look at that. Yep, she's dead. Anyway, so our hogs are still alive, but barely. And the uh, whole problem with that, guys, is that. Boston was not able to take out those stinking lava pups. It's like the smallest, most insignificant thing that he failed to do completely costed him this raid. Completely. I mean, the lava pups do like three damage per second, but there's like four of them, right? Or 20, or however many there are. So he fails 50% two star on Allen. Let's skip over to the next attack on Allen. This is Chicken Little. And at this point, there is going to be a little bit of mystery. I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. Who who beats the base and who doesn't? All I know is, um, or all you know, <laughs> is that uh, this attack is a, the second attack on this base. Chicken Little is um, Wong Yi Shan. He uh, actually has been featured on my channel before. I called him a hog genius. He really appreciated that, actually. And um, so this guy knows what he's doing, guys. This is uh, his second attack, or his, uh, his second account. Uh, the dude has like 10 accounts, so I don't know who, I don't know who's actually his main or whatever, but anyway, uh, this guy's a beast, so let's go in and watch. He's using his wall breakers to really open up this northeastern side of the base. His queen is level 22, so she's a beast. Uh, the king is coming in, he's level 23, so he's just as beastly, if not more. And, um, Valkyrie's coming in now. Most of them, he's being, tr he's trickling them in to kind of aim him where he wants. He's got one Valkyrie, the one off to the side. The Queen is kind of going off to the side too. She's going to get lost up there on the left side, but his kill squad's looking good. He's already killed the enemy Queen. The Valkyries are spinning around. The Lava Hound, Lava Pig guy is following them around as well and causing problems. And usually what people do, guys, is they'll use their Archer Queen to take out that Lava Hound. But unfortunately, his Queen is way up there at the top. She just used her special ability because of that uh, cannon. And, um, so things aren't going exactly according to plan. The Lava Hound is still alive and just slowly, uh, doing damage to his troops. And, um, so you can see this as failure to, uh, path, sort of, f uh, failure to funnel, and also failure to kill the enemy clan castle. And, uh, interestingly, guys, look at this. He's got no heal spells. 
he probably could have won this attack had he had a heal spell. But he used other spells, he used... Um, I can't tell what spells those are down there, guys, I'm sorry, but he, uh, he just... He ran out of spells, that ultimately was the problem. And, um, you know, I like showing fails because, for one, they're funny, and I'm not really picking on the guys that are doing the attacks. The honest truth is, we can learn from these fails, right? We can learn the importance of killing the Lava Hound. Here we go, one, two, three, boom, come on. Okay, he exploded. <laughs> I was a little early, but anyway, so the Lava Hound dies, he gets his 56% two-star, that's the second attempt on this base. Let's go in now, watch Gronk. Gronk. Yeah, he's got a level 23 queen, and he's going to take on Alan now, who, like I said, is their number one Town Hall 9. And, um, he's coming in with a Goho. And, well, a Super Queen Goho, Queen Walk. And, um, guys, this is another example of how the, uh, the little things really can mess you up. And in this case, it's not even Gronk's fault, okay? I'm, I guess I'm ruining the, the experience of Surprise, but he does fail this attack as well. And, um, the reason why is because simply time. He, he successfully gets rid of the Lava Hound, which is finally coming out. And, um, he, he killed the king. You know, he's doing everything right. He's just gonna run out of time. That's the only problem. So he rage spells, which is gonna rage the healers and rage the queen. So she's gonna do a lot of damage all at once, which is a great thing, of course. And, um, now the queen is gonna turn around. She's gonna pop all these Lava Pups. And, um... Then keep on going with the Queen Walk, and he will send in his golems out of, out there on the right side of the base and squeeze the base together and uh, do really well, to be honest. But um, it just wasn't enough. We ran out of time. So anyway, the golems are on the right side. He's popped that Tesla that's over there, as we know, because we've we've seen this attack get we've seen this base get attacked two times previously. Look at that queen. She's almost dead over there. She is doing she's not doing so good. He already used her special ability. I missed it because I was watching the golems on the right side, but. Anyway, he's going to send in his king now and um, get in there and kill squad that archer queen. So here's the king now. The wizards are making a real fine funnel. He's funneled this really well. Jump spell to let them in. And uh, as soon as that queen decides to engage, that king is going to get PO'd and get in there and tell her no. Which, uh, which means kill her. So <laughs> uh, king goes in now and he's noticed her. He's going to get her. Get in there, buddy. Take her out. Special ability has been popped, and the enemy queen drops like one of them hot rocks. You know what I'm saying? Hogs are released up here at the top side. Good pathing. They're going to uh, path counterclockwise around the base. And uh, no giant bomb in that space, I guess. We should know where the giant bombs are by now, but I just kind of, I, I just kind of, I don't know why. I, well, I just knew there was a giant bomb in that spot. Anyway, the uh, Arch Queen pops that giant bomb up there. The Tesla drops, and they're going to work their way down the base. Another giant bomb is right there, guys. Oh, they turn just in time. There's a giant bomb. Not going to affect them. There's another giant bomb. Heal spell. Boom. Okay, we're good. We're good, guys. Heal spell was dropped in the correct place. It was basically the only place he had. He knew it was coming because he's seen this attack, or this base get attacked before. And um, now he's out of spells, so let's see how he does, guys. He's coming around. He's got two or three defenses left. That Tesla drop's going to come out to the left. There's a mortar and another Tesla. Kill that mortar. Let's kill this Tesla and this... Well, another stupid skeleton drop. Let's poison that. And uh, here we go. So the uh, hogs remove these skeletons. Bam. And now they're going to start the cleanup process. So, guys, he has come out of this successfully. I mean, unfortunately, his king did not survive. But he's got a, a, a queen walk still going. And, um, quite a few, you know, quite a bit of cleanup, but the hogs are surprisingly quick. So, uh, let's see how he does, guys. Let's see how close he gets. Um, to be honest, it was a good attack. I mean, this was, for some reason, a really difficult base to beat for my clan. But, um, you know, I don't know, guys. Sometimes we just have those wars where one specific base gives us trouble. And, um, looks like we have a builder's hut and a gold... Uh, storage that's gonna give us problems. So Gronk, good try, 98% two star. You need redemption, my friend. The whole clan does. So let's show this attack. This was a three star. I'm gonna ruin the surprise once again. Uh, Gronk on Bengal. And um, here a little backstory. Gronk actually told me that um, I never showed one of his attacks, and he's a co-leader of Boston Tea Party. And so I, uh, I was like, no way, dude. Not. I, I, I could have sworn I had showed one of his attacks. So I actually went back and. Uh, in the really long recap I did a few recaps ago, it was like 30 minutes long, guys. It's epic. Go watch it. But anyway, um, <laughs> I actually had his attack recorded and put in the video, and I removed it and one other uh, replay to try to get the 
time lower just a little bit and I think that's happened to him several times so I feel bad but anyway so this is yeah, this is his redemption my redemption for him um, we're gonna be showing two of his attacks in this recap and he's going in with a goho on uh, their number six coming in on the right side really good funnel king and queen are in take out that queen take her out yeah and um, now we just we've got really good pathing guys golemites are still coming around and the hogs are being released up there at the top I can hear them there they are and um, they're going to come through. He's got three heal spells, and the kill squad's going all the way into the center. So if they can take out the expo, oh, the enemy king drops. Our king drops. Our queen is still alive, though, luckily. And um, we've got the majority of our hogs on the outside, a few on the inside. And um, the biggest problem right now is that expo. So if we can take that expo out, I'd feel better. There's a giant bomb. Good thing it was triggered by one hog. Another hog. Heal spell, baby. Yeah, good, good job. Um, I think Gronk is pretty much a pro at heal spells. <laughs> Because I would have totally died. Enemy or our queen dies, unfortunately, and we get one more heal spell. I think he could, he could probably swag heal, but he wants to be safe because um, this was his second attack, and he wants redemption from his previous fail, which was a really close attack. So he's coming in, taking out this last archer tower, and that's going to do it for all of the defenses in this base. All he has left is a few wizards and hogs. So let's speed it up. Let's watch these hogs just kind of go through and wreck this base the way it deserves to be wrecked, and. Uh, Yet again, guys, I remind y'all that Alan has been attacked three times and not been three-starred. So we definitely need to get in there and do that. But uh, either way, awesome attack from Gronk. One of the uh, textbook perfect Goho attacks uh, on their number six. So now it's 46-44. The enemy has gotten a few points. Let's skip ahead to uh, a little later in the war. Actually, right before it ends. Okay, so we got eight and a half, well, almost nine minutes to go. I can't spell. Go for it, man. So Bardley is our last Town Hall 10 attack, and he's going to attack number one, and he's going to attempt to get a two-star. Right now, as you can see, it's 50-50, guys. We are tied. Luckily, we have a Town Hall 10 attack left. So uh, I apologize for the video. I don't know why it's acting so weird. But anyway, so, um, oh, man. Spring trap. That was terrible. Let's send a golem in, and this is a, I think this is a five golem uh, go we attack. I think it's go we since it's only golems and wizards. But um, anyway, he's got five golems. He's got one in the clan castle, so that's six. This is a six golem go we attack, and um, he's uh, he's taking out the enemy king right now. Yep, there he goes on the right side. A poison spell on that guy. And um, like I said, guys, this is uh, this is a base that has not been starred yet. the The first attack was a like a forty six percent zero star attack. So uh, Bartley is going to just go in for a, a safe uh, two-star attack on this guy. And, uh, I mean, he's going to take out these t these uh, Infernal Towers. And guess what? I mean, you get a bunch, you get a whole bunch of Golems in them to split off in the Golemites. And the Infernal Towers are overwhelmed. So the uh, Infernals are down. Our King is in the middle. We're wrecking up on these uh, the uh, Expos now. The Enemy Queen has finally engaged us. So our King is going to go in there and show it what's up. Show her what's up, buddy. Slap her around a little bit. Yeah, all right. So now he's going to kind of go around the base. He kind of missed the Town Hall. Unfortunately, he missed it, but we've got a couple of wizards down there that are clutch Harry's and they're gonna wreck that town hall get it buddies get it Yeah, that's a two-star. We already at 56% now moving up and the queen is off on the left side She almost died guys. I was so busy watching the town hall. I missed that the queen level 32 mind you um, She uh, she almost died. So we've already got the two stars So now we're just kind of working on percentage total destruction and um, those Golemites down up there, guys, are taking it, man. They're taking it for the team. And as soon as they drop, those wizards, unfortunately, are going to die. Watch this. Boom and boom. Man, I know I know what's up. I know what's going on. So the uh, Archer Queen, she's breaking through the wall now. She's going to get all this free percentage over here. Boom. I wonder what percentage we're going to end up with. It's going to be higher than 69%, but it probably won't be 80. I I'm going to guess probably like 75 or something like that. Actually, no, probably 72%. Let's see how these guys go. So we got the Arch Queen and one of uh, Bardley's wisely held back archers. And uh, they'll take out the Elixir Collector. 72% and... Wow. Okay, so I was completely right. 72%, two star, four Bardley. He successfully um, clutched that attack. And now we should be up 52-50. We are. And oh, hey, someone's attacking Alan. Let's go check this out. Uh, Patriot going on against Alan. He's number eight. Alan's obviously their number five. And uh, we've seen this base get attacked three times and failed on now so let's see how uh, Patriot does it I really hope it's not a fail because I don't know I just feel like redemption would be nice so uh 
He's coming in with an air attack. This is the first time this base has been attacked by air. He's got, looks like a Quadrilla Loon attack. Um, yeah, he's got a Quadrilla Loon attack. Uh, the Lava Hounds have been released down there at the bottom. Sorry about that. I was trying to count the Lava Hounds and I was having a hard time just a minute ago. So sorry about that silence for the first second. But um, anyway, so they're going in. They've uh, they've got two air defenses left. All the Lava Hounds have been released now. And um, that air defense right there is dropped. There you go. And then we got one more air defense left to deal with. Rage spells placed expertly around the base. He's still holding on to one balloon. And um, it looks like what we've got here is an air defense that needs to be dropped Come on, buddies. Take him out. Take out their defense. Awesome. Okay. And finally, the last of the defenses, guys. I think he's got it. Wow, that was fast. We got two minutes left in the in the whole attack. And no, remember, we got three and a half to, uh, to take out the base originally. And he's still got two minutes left, guys. I think he's going to get this in less than uh, two minutes. That is crazy. He, Patriot came in and just completely wrecked this base. This is... This is amazing. Dude, that's probably the best attack of the whole uh, the whole war. Wow. Guys, Patriot just wrecked this base. That was amazing. Good redemption. Allen has finally been three-starred after four attempts. And we've got four minutes left. Let's um, let's see. Here, guys. Let's go in. Nice job. Uh, nice job. I hate typing on this. Okay, nice job, guys. That was awesome. Super, super good attack. And I want you to notice, guys, that they have one more Town Hall 10 attack as well, Lopez, um, which is their number four. And uh, and you'll see, guys, that I have, uh, there's no base that he can attack. And Lopez has, has, oh, he's attacking number 12. What? He's attacking number 12. He's going in for a free star, isn't he? That is just so lame. The rest of their attacks that they have available are down here. So... Really, the last attack is going to be on their our, our number 12. There's no way they can win, guys. It looks like they have given up. Uh, Lopez is attacking our number 12, which is totally cheap. But, hey, I mean, if he wants the star, he can get the star, right? So, I guess that's going to be it for the war. Let's, uh... Well, anyway, Patriots attack was awesome. Let's skip ahead. We got five seconds, four, three, two, one, zero. War ending, guys. The suspense is building, we're at 53 51, and it looks like we have won the war. Good job. Boston Tea Party on JW2. This uh, this clan did a good job. Unfortunately, they just kind of dropped it there at the end. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and um, learned from the fails and enjoyed the, the non fails, <laughs> enjoyed the successes. And that's going to be it for today's War Recap. Look forward to the next one, and um, be sure and like the video if, if you liked it. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you have not done that already. And uh, stay tuned because we got another one coming shortly. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.